Okay, switching now from mac and cheese to another great event for local foodies. More than 90 local restaurants, 26 beverage stands, three stages with live music. We're talking about the annual Taste of Madison. Returns to the Capitol Square this weekend here with The Scoop is Madison Festival's Brody Burkle. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. So when you look at this, I, I, how do you describe this event to people who have maybe, I mean, it's been around for a while, but how do you explain it to people who maybe have no idea what Taste of Madison is? Uh, maybe Madison's biggest summer picnic. I mean, it is. It's a closure um, on Labor Day weekend. It's a giant picnic with music around Capitol Square. Like you said, over 90 restaurants. Uh, we'll have thir over 30 live music acts. It's just pretty incredible. It's a way to come down and sample some amazing fare from local, local Madison restaurants. And it is a wonderful event. I've been to the event, and also I have been honored to be a judge for taste for many, many years. I starved myself that day <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to, to taste as much as I can. Explain um, what the purpose is of the judging. So we have a pre-judging uh, a couple months or about a month before the event itself, and people bring in um, what they'll be serving at taste um, so we can take a look, and then we have people such as yourselves come in and taste these, and then you judge them. And what they receive is an award for second and third place in the category that they're going to present at Taste. So much like the Madison Magazine Best of Madison mm -hmm. Awards, these restaurants then have the pride of saying we were the best of Taste of Madison in our certain category for, for the food that we serve. So in the process of people coming down, they get to eat a lot, obviously, and enjoy that. But you're also helping out nonprofits, too. Absolutely. So Madison Festivals is all about giving back to the community. So with Taste of Madison, the people that run our 20-plus beverage stands are all local nonprofit charities, whether it's a scouts group, whether it's Take a Vet Fishing, some local sports teams. All of these nonprofits help us out by serving the beverages at Taste of Madison, and their nonprofit um, is reimbursed. Last year, we gave just over $62,000 to nonprofits, and we look to beat that this year. Wow. That's awesome. What, um, you have to have a plan when you get down there, because you can't possibly hit every <laughs> single stand. So what would be your advice? Um, a guide does come out tomorrow in the newspaper, um, so pick up a copy of the paper and it will give a map of all the restaurants, their locations, and it will give what they're serving. So maybe, you know, scour that for the next two days and come down on Saturday kind of with the plan. Maybe show up, do a lap. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody does a couple laps. Um, listen to some music, grab As a beverage. As my stomach growls. <laughs> <laughs> my and, you know, maybe, maybe do a few laps and grab a, a, mm -hmm. a portion or two mm -hmm. per lap. Yeah. You don't advocate starving yourself like Charlotte suggested, though, before. Come on, you know how the taste judging goes. <laughs> so you That's eat and then you stuff. lap, and then you eat, and then you lap. Yeah, you maybe just listen to some music that. in between. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Brody Burkle, thank you very much. Good we'll luck this weekend. We appreciate you. it. All right, so the Taste of Madison, again, Saturday from 2 to 8.30, Sunday from 11 to 7, all around the Capitol Square. For more information, you can go to tasteofmadison.com.